It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cleveland Browns and the New Orleans Saints. And it comes your way next. You can almost hear the noise coming from the nearby French Quarter. And they're being just as loud inside Caesars Superdome here in New Orleans. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over for big yardage. Maybe six points, too. Enough build up. The ball is teed up, and we are ready to go. And here we go from New Orleans. Return coming from the six. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Rocky Stample just beyond that 30-yard line. So here are the Browns now, headed out for their first drive. Bringing them out to number one pick in 2015, a former league leader in passing, it's Jameis Winston. Don't think for a second, Kate, he hasn't heard the noise. Read the comments from the keyboard warriors who say they just want somebody else leading this team. But let me let you in on a little secret. Those criticisms, they can fuel quarterbacks. Make that chip on the shoulder even bigger to prove people wrong and to show, I really do belong in this league. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. And off to Chubb to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and three now. From the 38. On the slant, complete to Judy. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Job running out of the gun. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Play wrapped up by Demario Davis. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you could be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. To throw. Here's Winston. That's complete. David Njoku. A step before the 30, right at the 31. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that gives the Browns a first. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. They've got first down from the 31. Give to Chubb on the option. And he's caught after a game of about two. Roy really Gay there on the tackle. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. You know, kid, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. You've got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. Here's Chubb on second down. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I don't know, kid. I didn't think he had it. That back did. He knew exactly where he had to get for the first down. Pops up right away and signals first down. All set up now for first and ten. Seen on the ground here with Chubb. And he'll pull his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. 
It gets you good yardage. It sets up your play action. And it keeps that defense honest. Second and six coming up here. Judy now in motion left. Shall we get on second down? And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. You know why baseball coaches are called managers, Kate? Because they got to manage a lot of situations. And I've realized over time in talking to them, they love taking a situation, a game moment, and making it a team topic. That play, or that corner right there, I know this is a head football coach, not a head football manager, but he's going to take that play. He's going to illuminate it to his team and show the fearlessness of his corner making that tackle. And he has it down to the 8-yard line on the play. It's a real solid pick up, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. I can promise you, that was the goal from the moment he took up. He kept his eyes locked on the chains. It's almost like he had a spidey sense. He knew exactly where to get in order to move the sticks and get that critical first down. Has it in close. And good tackle, but a flag is down, likely against the defense. Always a point of emphasis, right? Protecting the quarterbacks, and that play is going to draw the flag every time. So roughing the passer gifts them a first and goal. Chubb has the Cleveland touchdown. The Browns finish up an excellent opening series. It's a Nick Chubb touchdown. Well, he couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. On comes Dustin Hopkins to try the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Browns will jump out to a 7-0 lead. in now to return it and he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return mm, after that return he's looking pretty banged up out there we're gonna have a stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him They're out and set, first and ten. They go play action with Carr. And the connection not quite there yet on his opening throw of the game. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, it not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. Carr. That's complete to Valdez Scantley. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Greg Newsome bringing that play to an end. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things. Separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. New set of downs for him from the 46. Oh. 
Going again, it's Carr. Able to get it to Moreau. This is ahead for about five. Juan Thornhill getting there for the stop. As quarterback, when you have an outright versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy can turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. This is Alvin Kamara with it. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you nobody wants to hit you but that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch Kamara now on first and ten and he crosses out of bounds so now we're going to learn who the penalty flag is on well partner they say there's holding on every play you just got to look for it right uh, that time though we did not have to look too hard And he's able to manage a couple on that run. All right, here we go. Second down. Working out of the gun. It's caught. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. All plays on the table here for third and three. From the shotgun, Carr. Lovely with the catch. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They'll come up first and ten. Card here from the gun. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who could close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Second and ten, here's Carr. When you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. They've set themselves up well for an opening drive touchdown here. Brock gets first and goal. Car off the play fake. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that sack. Going the wrong way. It's second and goal now, back at the 12th. Another try following the sack. And he will score to the Orleans touchdown. The Saints finish up their opening drive. Chris Olave with the touchdown. But whether he stays the go-to guy the entire game, we, we will all judge together. But no doubt about it on that opening drive, Brock, he was the
the star. Bunch of catches and a touchdown to begin this one. Yeah, I think this is twofold. Number one, you love to get this guy started early. He's a playmaker. He's a difference maker. Number two, this defense, well, they better be on high alert because this offense feels like they have a matchup. They can attack and attack, and that time attack a third time for six. Blake Groupie to try the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Saints respond with seven of their own to tie it here early. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Returning it from the four. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Onto the field comes the Browns offense for the second time. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you gotta imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't. Right, but this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. They got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Here's Winston. Escapes out to the left. Oh, look at this, here he goes. Gets out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide of practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Job on the give. Headed left. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Brought down by Tyron Matthew. It looked like they had it, but nope, no gain. And now they're just inches short for third down. Again, it's Chubb. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a four-yard gain, and that's going to get him across the marker and earn the first. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Into the hands of Elijah Moore. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. They are running from the gun with Chubb. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. Back to the Superdome of Caesar in just a bit. We're ready now for the second quarter. Brown's in control of it. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Here's Winston to the air. Flush down now to his left. Oh, he was on the move, and so is the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Pretty even match in this first half, and he's kind of waiting. But right? you just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack, that can go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Trying again, following the sack. That one complete to Najoku. And they 
to get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. Move the chains. Got to move their chains. Build momentum to keep that defense on its heels. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Bails out of the pocket quick. He's going to tuck it and run. He gets a little something out of it before sliding to a stop. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Connection made to Judy. They rip off a big chuck of field and it sets him up with first and goal. Just excellent effort on that catch and a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. Tight end going in motion here. Here's Chuck. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No gain that time, and now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, we did the job on first down. More to come. He tried to again. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. He gets two on that run. That brings up third and goal. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a loss, and make a difficult fourth down decision. It looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. From a bit closer now, another look at third and goal. Winston. Even on third down, this is no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharp shooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. So the Browns are going to kick the field goal on fourth down. Dustin Hopkins on for the attempt. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. series. First and ten now from the 30. They're going to start on the ground with Camara, And he's into the front for a gain of about two. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he put some nice toppings on it. A play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road, what looked like a very plain play. 
Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Running back sends in motion. From the 33 on second down. Catch made by Alvin Kamara. Decent game here, but short of the first. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. First time this game they've looked to him. And it's fourth and short. We'll see if they go for it. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. He takes the fair catch at about the 26 yard line. So no return on that punt. And the Browns will go on offense. Back out now comes the Browns offense. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing is Winston. The best of the best, they just have this intuition, Kate. They know where the boundary is without looking. This receiver's not quite at that level yet. He lost track of where he was, and he brought it in. The balance. Running right with Chubb. And he gets taken down immediately right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they're going to tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. To the air, third ball. And he's there, and he's obviously watching the way. Incomplete. Any DB performs a highlight real interception and just forced him to make a pass. As soon as he realized the kick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. The Browns looking to punt on fourth down, so on comes their southpaw, Corey Bohorquez, to handle it. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And he can't evade the coverage team for much. They stop him before he gets really anything on that return. Call that a 64-yard punt officially. And the Saints will get set to take over. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing from the gun. This is complete to Olave. And he's brought down after a nice game and a first down. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. You, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers, toss them with tight ends, but when you get that influence from your running backs, you know, you become a dangerous offense to stop. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. The only thing I can say positive about the execution of that play is at least you didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine.
throwing his car. He gets it to Juwan Johnson. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Greg Newsome bringing that play to an end. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. On third down, here's Williams. And they bring him down around the 34. They'll see he got five there, but Bronco, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball. But a third down run for a first down could be so demoralizing to that defense. Connor with it on first. Into the hands of Olave. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them can throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts, but throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. Second and one. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So now they have third and short. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. They kick the running back in motion. Looking to throw on third and one. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play. Just loose, incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. So they're going to have to evaluate things now on fourth and short. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Going for it, it's Williams. when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. <laughs> running right, it's Camara. Second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. Groupie to try that point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Saints take a four-point lead. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Brings in the kick at the nine. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Cleveland offense back out and getting set for the drive. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. First and ten. And he gets 
Driver jump. Hey, range. Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh -uh, it's a prerequisite for the job. And this guy definitely has it. Called that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. Offense to the line for second down. To throw. Here's Winston. Got a man. It's Njoku. And he gets a small chunk there before he's touched down. So we're at the two-minute warning here from the Superdome. The Browns with a lot of ground between where they are now and where they need to go. They're going to throw it on third long. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And that gives the Browns a first. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz, or he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion. So they So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Now give right side to jump. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, so that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. are lined up to punt and he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first he broke 50 on his first punt and looks to have done the same here and he's there to make the fair catch right at the 10 yard line that punt goes unanswered no return there and it's going to be their football coming up They're out and set, first and ten. On the shotgun, Kong connects with Johnson. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And the Saints are going to have a first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Car here from the gun. To the outside and complete to Olave. And he reaches the 35 before going out. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Working out of the gun. It's Carr. That was incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. I think that was a throw cake that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Going again, it's Carr. 
He finds Johnson. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Here's Carr. Camaro's got it. And he's going to be drawn down. Looks like at that 37-yard line. They have themselves another first and ten. They go play action with Kong. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Field goal unit out there on second down as they try for three here before halftime. From the left hash, 54 yards out. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And add three to their lead as it extends to seven. I know they love that golf adage. Drive for show, cut for go, but it's awfully nice to try for show when they have that kind of weapon in your back pocket. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Probably looking at our final snap and a half here on first down. Back to throw it. He's trying to lay it in. the Saints who've got the lead as we head to the break. Now we'll head over to Orlando, Florida. Check in with Jonathan Coachman for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the veteran running back, Alvin Kamara. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. With that, the two squads are headed out of the tunnel. So let's get you back out to Jay Scott and Brock Hewer. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back to the start of our third quarter. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to set it flying. Here comes Williams on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Here's a give inside to Camaro. 
Now he's going to be brought down at the 42. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Car now on first and ten. This is reeled in by Valdez Scantley. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. So critical, Kate, on those receiver screens to get that ball out with great precision. You don't want that receiver thinking about anything but navigating the blocks in front of him. That's well done by everybody. Carr. Toward the sideline and caught by Wilson. And he goes down a little short of the 40. Second and six coming up here. Running back sends in motion. From the 41. Wilson's got it. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for New Orleans first down. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. They run it from the gun with Kamara. And he gets a few on the post forward. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. Motion in left is their running back. From the 28. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. So it'll be third down. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. Car throwing on third. Coverage holds up, and he just had to get rid of it. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. On fourth down, out comes the Saints field goal team and Blake Groupie. From the right hash, about 45 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that will push it to double digits in a two-possession game. That's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Cleveland's offense all set to take over. Starts out with a first and ten. The second half's going to start with a run by Chubb. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. Willie Gay there on the tackle. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven.
Kane on the ground here with Chubb. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. They'll run here, following the penalty. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. It's a three-yard game for him. That leaves third and 14 now. Winston to throw it. Escapes the puck. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Awareness. That's what I call it. Okay? Awareness. you got to have a game awareness and understand the situation. Third and long, you should never take a sack. Put the ball in play or throw it away. Don't take a sack in that situation. The Browns are lining up to punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. Averaging a little under 50 a kick so far, Brock, as he gets away another one. And he's brought down before the return gets far. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And they'll get ready to go on offense. The Saints ready to return their offense to the field. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and 10 coming up. Carr setting to throw. This is real to him by Wilson. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. I'll be honest with you, Kate. As you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had on the perimeter. Carr with it on first. Lave with the catch. And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. chance to boost his stat line his second touchdown of the game yeah you just kind of feel these two building some trust right just more and more equity certainly paying dividends in this one but more than likely for more games to come groupie to try the point after right down the middle it's good and the saints take a three possession lead is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. That's going to be taken in at the 8. Find some space. He's past the 30. They'll begin from the 36 as the returners brought down. The Browns getting their offense out there. 
And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. The Browns, nice field position here as they start out first and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Into the hands of Tillman, complete. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give the quarterback the chance. Second and three now. So simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instinct come to life. All plays on the table here for third and three. They're going to try to pick it up with an option left. And the defense was ready. They got him at the line. No yards on the play, and back to back stops, forces a fourth and three. Nice little welcoming party wait for him at the line of scrimmage. No surprises that time. This defense was great. Ponte muted out now. It'll be Corey Bajorquez doing the honors. And that hit at the five, but got the bounce it needed to reach the end zone for a touchback. The Saints ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Camara running out of the gun. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. New set of downs is not off to a real good start here, Cates. And I know every yard counts in this league. But that lone yard, it's not going to really change what they're thinking about doing here on second down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. The tight end going in motion right. Car off the play fake. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. As much as we talk about offenses wanting to stay ahead of the chains, they want to stay on script. Well, a defense, they want to rip that script up. And a sack like that creating third and extra longs, it's exactly how you get it done. And the Browns bringing out some extra defensive backs. We've got time on third down. Throwing his car. That's complete to Wilson. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. So they'll let the play stand, decline the penalty, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Here comes the Saints punting unit. And he'll try to have his second punt top his first one. Fair catch call for and taken just beyond midfield. The Browns with their offense back out there as Nick Chubb returns to the field. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. The 
Browns. Nice field position here as they start out first and ten. And off to Chubb to start the drive. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Now don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to push that envelope and get aggressive. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Job running out of the gun. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. You know, that's a good run right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Second and six coming up here. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, don't get me wrong, Kate. Every defensive guy, they watch tape in their own ways. The linebackers, well, they're a little bit like quarterbacks. They got to develop that sixth sense by watching that tape so they can diagnose and get home in a hurry like he just did. It's a pickup of 11, and that's good for a Cleveland first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. First and 10 now from the 30. We give inside the jump. Tackle stops him after a solid game. He made him six on the play, bringing up second and four. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy, right? Grab some clock and drive him to the ground with all you got. An early jump with the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. So the penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. Oh, an exceptionally painful penalty as it sets up first and ten now inside the red zone. Running it after the penalty. And he's stopped down at the 16 after a small game. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. from the late great Mike Leach is yeah the system was called air raid but it wasn't just attacking downfield his philosophy and it played out right there is you have to attack every inch of the field both vertically and horizontally without routes or in routes just like that four downs now to get in here's first and goal putting the tight end in motion here's Chubb Pick up anything there, and now it's 
second and goal. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. Pretty clear, Kate. Okay? Crash forward and then crash inside. Set that edge, but if you can come inside and bury that runner before it gets started, all the better. So now here's third and goal. Winston. their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite hang on. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the gap closes to 14 points. If they wanted any kind of shot here, Kate, to come back in this game, that field goal had to go through and make it a two-score game. That's only the first of what would need to be several steps here in a hurry to have a chance to try to pull this out. Hopkins has it on the tee and he's ready to send it flying. Here comes Williams on the return. Turn comes out to the 30. New Orleans back on offense and ready to go now. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. I mean, they've made some music, right? Great mm -hmm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. First and ten now from the 30. From the shotgun, Carr. To the left side, reeled in by Wilson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 26. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. Going on first down, it's gone. And this one is knocked away, incomplete. Read and react, read and react, read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And you've got to react as it begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Back to the air, Carr. That's complete to Camaro. And they make the stop, I'm gonna say it about the 37 yard line. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you could depend on. Third and just two to go. And now headed right, Camara. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Ball at the 33 for first down. Card in the air now. Fits it through the middle. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown to New Orleans. The Saints have rightly locked up the win right there. Well, Brock, not much 
much to say other than the fact that this offense on point here is clicking today. Just rolling. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape. Being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. Group B to try the point after. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Saints stretch their lead to 21. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Starting from the five. The tackle is made, so this drive will begin at the 34-yard line. Now we see the Browns offense headed out. They managed three on their last drive, but down inside the red zone, disappointing not to come away with a touchdown. First and ten from the 34. Throwing now from the gun. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. David Njoku, the guy he was looking for. And it sets up second down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here's Winston to the air. Throw wheeled in by Njoku. And he'll get it up to the 44. They come through with a nice scan of 10 and a first down. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. That's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing is Winston. On shooting near the sideline. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Connection made to Judy. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They are running from the gun with Chubb. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that they love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. And he's going to take this one in for the Cleveland touchdown. The Browns get it back to within two possessions. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock, and they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, 
They really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. On his Hopkins for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Browns get it back to a 14-point game. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to set it flying. Jackson now to return it. He stopped on the return of the 27. The home teams headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. start out with a first and ten. They'll motion him out of the backfield. Gets this to Johnson. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk, and there was nearly room to add even more. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 36. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. He gets six on that play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet. But it gives his own defense a little time to rest. It gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. Camara now on first and ten. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. Another run for Camara. And it's a nice game, but they needed just one more yard to move the chains. It's a gain of six, and they only need half of that now on third and three. say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness and when you throw in a double coverage well it can go either way that time a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end pistol snap to car connecting on the slant and this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped it's a 13 yard play and that's enough for the first or they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Ball at the 33 for first down. Running back sent in motion left. Carr now on first and 10. Dumps it off to his running back. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I would get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brian, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. We give on second to Camara. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. 
That's a play that won't pop on the stat sheet, but the players and coaches won't forget about it. I promise you that. Coaches will file that one away the next time. They really need to pick up a few yards. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Side. Defensively, not every missed tackle is the same. It may be on a stat sheet, but sometimes that help to finish a play isn't arriving quick enough, and you're the only one, the last line of defense. And in that moment, you got to scratch, you got to claw, you got to tear to make the stop. Because a broken tackle or it can mean a touchdown. Groupie to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Saints stretch their lead to 21. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. He feels it from the eight. His return makes it up to the 25. The Browns returning their offense and this running back to the field. trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have, and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Winston looking to throw. Chubb brings it in. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and the defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal game. Gotta hurry this to the line. Second and eight. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Winston. That's more on the quick slant. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And now they have a first and goal. Well, you don't normally get that type of outcome on a slant. You're just looking for a little short yard gain. To find the right type of athlete with space to work the ball in a perfectly placed ball. And he will score. It's a 
Cleveland touchdown. The Browns get it back to within two possessions. No hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to draw plays and have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. So we have a pause here inside two minutes. All reviews come from the booth, and they want to take one more look. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we've got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? So the celebration can resume on that sideline. The touchdown stands. On his Hopkins for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Browns get it back to a 14-point game. So even after the score, they're still down two possessions. Time not exactly on their side as they try this onside kick. And that's recovered by the Saints. So we're going to win this football game. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Running behind center with Kamara. And he'll advance this down to the 38 on that run. Now a timeout's called. Cleveland using its second. And they'll have just one left to burn now. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's a give inside to Camaro. And this time they get to him early and stick him along the line of scrimmage. Now the Browns spend their final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Setting up for the kneel down on third. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to take down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Their punter making his way out now. And he's hoping for a well-placed strike. And this is a worm burner. He did not hit that one well. All right, one more snap to play here. One final shot here. Fights off the pressure. So it's a win for the Saints. 
and it was a game for fans of high scoring football wasn't it i know brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other that was the difference in the win so that'll do it for this one with brock heward i'm kate scott it's a win for the saints as we say so long from new orleans